Fee Biscuit is an exemplary underdog champion story in which two of the most unlikely competitors, Red Pollard, an oversized partially blind jockey, and Sea Biscuit, an undersized broken racehorse, join together to win the Santa Anita Cup. Directed by Gary Ross, the main plot is set in California during the Great Depression. Throughout the movie, we see the cinematographic technique of camera angling, which enhances both the main and underlying story, laying bare the true emotions of the characters or general public of that time. In the film, we see two distinct types of scenes, montages of black and white still photographs seemingly unconnected with Seabiscuit, and the scenes of the main story. The still photographs help to expand on ideas or emotions presented immediately prior. As the plot and time progress, the still photographs change the subject to focus onto individuals' losses or gains directly correlated to the losses or wins of Seabiscuit and Red Pollard at that time. For these scenes, Ross uses only eye-level camera angles to make the audience feel more connected to the subject of interest. The audience is exposed to their emotions of fear, desolation, and desperation, and the harsh reality of the Great Depression. In the main story, Gary Ross uses camera angles to enhance the viewer's emotions when watching particular scenes, giving more meaning to the frame and plot. When Red Pollard is being beaten in a match ring, we view him from a higher angle, indicating weakness in the character, and it instills sympathy for Red in the viewers. Alternatively, when Seabiscuit and Red Pollard win a race, the camera angle is low, looking up towards the horse and jockey. This displays a sense of accomplishment and pride, inspiring the audience with a surreal desire to congratulate the winners. Through the use of this technique, Ross encourages active emotional participation from the viewers. Sea Biscuit is an uplifting tale that retains reality through the still photographs of the Great Depression.